And a glass of eggnog for my beautiful wife. Thank you. Mm. Is this uh, non-alcoholic? Of course not. Great. Well, I would say to another glorious holiday season. Cheers. 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 And to a uh, happy wedding soon to follow. Ah, you're here. To Ridge and Taylor. Yes. Hmm. It's good. Where are those two, anyway? Oh, uh, Taylor had some Christmas shopping she wanted to do. And Ridge? Uh, well, actually, he's over at Brooks, uh, spending some time with the children. Really? I think he wanted to kind of ease them into the idea that it's going to be, well, more than one wedding. Are you sure that's all it is, Mother? Yes, I'm sure. Well, I'm not. You know what? I have, uh, I have a toast to make. You do? Yes, I uh, do. Ah, honey, I think it's a little premature. Well... Oh, no backing out now. Come on, let's hear it. Well, okay, here goes. To a prospective new member of the Forrester clan. What? Wait Not a yet, mind you, but it's still in the planning stages. Oh, so you're practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> wonderful, Macy. That's just wonderful. Uh, Eric, wouldn't that be something? Two new grandchildren? Two. Well, Ridge and Taylor. I'm sure they're going to start a family right away. Mm. It'd be a good idea to get them married first, would Oh, it? minor detail. Hmm. Already talking about wedding plans. <laughs> Mrs. Forrester? Yes, Connie. Oh, are you ready for us? Yes, Mrs. Forrester. Shall we? Absolutely. Let's do it. <laughs> and, uh, how are you? Oh, I'm pretty darn fantastic. So you had a good trip? Yes, I did have a great trip. And there was a little something waiting for me when I got back. What? A note in my files. A note? <laughs> yes, a very affectionate note. Unsigned. Eric, I think I have a secret admirer. Is that so? Hey! Anybody home? Oh, soon to be Mrs. Forrester. Please come in. What are you doing? Are you working late? Well, we have a big meeting tomorrow. Oh, sales? Actually, the executive staff. Do the Foresters know about this? Well, they will in the morning. Grant? I don't want to talk about it now. It looks like to me you've been doing a little shopping. Oh, yeah. I'm really into it this year. Well, that's good for the economy. Oh, good for the soul. So where's your other half? He is out at dinner tonight. Oh, with the boys? Not exactly. So where is he? He's having dinner with Brooke and the kids. Enjoy your dinners. Thank you. What are we having this evening, waitress? Caviar on toast points, sir. Why am I? What is that little dab of sauce that the caviar is on? Oh, well, you see, our cook ran out of sour cream, so we used something different. Something better. Taste it. Mmm. Looks and tastes like peanut butter. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good, isn't it? Fabulous, Connie. Oh, what a meal. Thank you. Thank you, Connie. It looks beautiful. You know, that reminds me. What are you going to do about replacing Maggie? I don't know. I'd like to try and find someone before the wedding. 
Well, that's pushing it a little, isn't it? The, the wedding's only two weeks away. Well, nothing's etched in stone, right? What do you mean? I mean, the wedding can always be put off a week or two. You joking? What's the problem? Why can't Ridge and Taylor wait? Well, I don't know why, why they would wait. I mean, they've set the date. Well, it hasn't been officially announced, right? I mean, it's not in the paper. It's going to be. So hold off. I think you're moving way too fast on this thing. I'm moving way too fast? Wasn't my decision that Ridge asked Taylor to, to marry him. Yes, but you're orchestrating it, Mother. Thorn. Fine, let's change the subject. No, let's not change the subject. It seems to me you've just implied that somehow I'm pressuring your brother to marry Taylor, and I have to tell you something, I resent that. It was his decision to ask Taylor to marry him. Nobody in the family knew he was going to do it. And I may say he did it in the most public way at the end of the fashion show. It's a decision that he's made, Thorne. And I think everyone in the family should support it. Not me, Mother. Not me. I can't support that decision. So you're telling me that Ridge is with Brooke and her kids? That's what I said. Taylor, is it me or is there something wrong with this picture? Grant, you know how close Ridge is to those children? Yeah, he's a little too close if you ask me. Oh, that's not true. Taylor, he pretends he's their father, when in reality he isn't. So now you tell me how unhealthy that is. I don't think it's unhealthy. The children love him. They need him. And for a long time, Ridge was a father to them. Are you saying that you're encouraging this? Yeah, of course I encourage it. Children need a male figure in their life. Well, they're going to have one. Me. Then you better start finding a way to spend time with them yourself. Well, I was planning on it as soon as things settle down around here. <laughs> things are never going to settle down around here. You have to make it a priority. Especially now the children are asking questions about Ridge and me and you and Brooke. Yeah, no, I feel like such a jerk for my role in all this. Well, they should have been told a long time ago. Well, that's right. Do you know why they weren't? Because Brooke wouldn't allow it. She was hoping that Ridge would change his mind and marry her and the children wouldn't know anything differently. Mm. Then Ridge should have told him. Do you know why he didn't? <laughs> I imagine because Brooke wouldn't let him. They are her children. Well, I think there's more to it than that. But, Taylor, you believe what you want to believe. Mm -mm -mm. Now, if you're trying to imply that Ridge is just hedging his bets because he doesn't really know whom it is he wants to marry, uh, no, that is not the case. I know that Ridge loves me. So you're telling me that it doesn't concern you that Ridge is spending the evening in that house with Brooke. I mean, that doesn't bother you in the slightest? Grant, it's not like they're alone. Well, that's true. They're with two kids who would do just about anything to see those two people spend the rest of their lives together. Peanut butter and caviar on toast. The best. Come on, Rick. Let's get their salads. Oh, right. But we'll give them some time alone. Won't we, Budge? Of course. You can get romantic out here. We won't watch. Don't look at me. I didn't put them up to this. Rick and Bridges certainly are dealing with your engagement to Grant and mine to Taylor in an interesting way. I'd rather not going to sit around and whine about it, not those two. Because they're fighters, just like their mother. They really want us together, Rich. We're gonna have to straighten them out about that. You know that, don't you? Good luck. They can't imagine either one of us with anybody else. Not too long ago, we were living together. Just recently, we were practically engaged, almost married. And then we had a lover's spat. A lover's spat? That's all that this is. 
The Tempest in a Teapot. Two very stubborn people, lovers, who had to make a point. And that's exactly what we did. But don't you think it's time to stop? People are starting to get hurt, Rich. Not just you and me, but your father and the company, the kids. We can stop it, all of it. All we have to do is swallow a little pride. I'm ready. Are you? Dinner is served. Grilled cheese sandwiches and scrambled eggs, my absolute favorite. Exactly what I was hoping for. Me too. Hey, why don't you guys sit down and join us? Oh, sorry. The management doesn't allow it. The management insists. Well, if you put it that way... Hey, don't mind if I do. Help yourself. Thank you. Look, this is supposed to be a family dinner, okay? Let's not argue tonight. There's nothing to argue about. There's going to be a wedding after the holidays, and that's that. And then what, Mother? Thorn, that's enough. No, I need to say this. If Ridge marries Taylor, Brooke is going to marry Grant. And that's when our troubles really begin. You think these last couple of weeks have been bad? With Grant married to the majority stockholder of this company, believe me, he will be calling the shots. And that is going to destroy us. Honey, don't you think you're overreacting just a little bit? No, honey, I do not. And everyone at this table knows it. Mom, Dad, you two built this company. It was meant for your kids. Our children, their children. But it is going to end this coming year. It is over if Grant is in charge. And believe me, he will be. And there will be nothing that we can do about it. Let me see if I understand correctly what you're saying. You want your brother to marry Brooke in order for you to maintain your portion of the ownership of this company? He's in love with Brooke, Mother. He should do what his heart tells him. I think he's already done that, Thorn. And as far as I'm concerned, that's that. Deller, I'm not trying to make you feel insecure. I just think you should keep your eyes open. Grant, it's Christmas. It's the first one I felt like celebrating in years. I'm not going to let Brooke spoil it with these games. You know, if she wants to go after Ridge with the children, fine, let her do it. It wouldn't be the first time she's done it before. And it worked. You're right, it's the holidays. And it's the very same holidays that a little Forrester baby was born. Her name was Bridget. And Ridge helped bring her into this world. All I'm saying, Taylor, is just be careful. Just be careful. Stephanie, I'm sorry. I really feel terrible about all this. Oh, Macy, this isn't your fault. And it isn't Thorne's fault either. Brooks just got everyone duped. Well, I hope it didn't ruin your dinner. Of course it didn't. Okay. Don't be concerned about it. All right, good. I'm going back to the guest house. I thought you said you had something you wanted to tell me. Oh, yeah. I mentioned it to Eric. I had a note waiting for me when I got back from the airport. A note? Unsigned. Well, what did it say? It said, welcome back. You were missed more than you know. Mm. Oh, <laughs> intrigue. I love it. You'll have to tell me everything later. Oh, I will. You know where I'll be. Bye, Mason. Good to see you again, Lauren. Bye, Eric. Good night, Lauren. You ready, Mace? Yeah. Mom? I don't think there's anything left to say. Yeah, there is. I'm sorry. I was out of line. This was the wrong place and time. 
You're right, you were out of line. And it was the wrong place and time. Okay. Good night. Good night, Dad. Nice night. Well, never a dull moment when the foresters are together. That's certainly the truth, isn't it? You okay? Oh, I'm fine. Mm. I never let anything or anybody upset my Christmas holidays, you know that. Good for you. Did you have a nice time anyway? Yes, I did. Good. And you're going to be here Christmas Day? Absolutely. I look forward to it. Me too. Good night, Stephanie. Good night, Eric. Well, that was some meal. Scrambled eggs and grilled cheese, you can't beat that. They make it really well here. <laughs> mm. High fat, high cholesterol diet. Yeah, you know how to teach those kids how to cook vegetables. Teach them how to eat them first. They're so precious, aren't they? Yeah, there's something else. They love you, Ridge. Just about as much as I do. We're gonna go to bed, guys. So soon? Yep, we cleaned up the kitchen. Oh, thank you. Dinner was wonderful. All I need now are my good night kisses. Kisses, kisses. I need my good night kisses. We're gonna go to bed. Okay, good night. Night, Mom, night, Ridge. Good night. Oh, uh, by the way, our doors will be closed. So you'll be all alone down here. Now, wait a minute, you two. Oh, hey, Ridge. Oh, we're tired from all that cooking. Oh, hey, look at the time. Oh. So we got to get up early tomorrow. Yeah. Sweet dreams. <gasps> Hi. Yeah, forgive me. I was just leaving, but I wanted to ask you about this, uh, this note you got. Pretty amazing, huh? Fascinating. How'd it make you feel? Pretty darn good. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Well, I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Those two don't miss a trick, do they? They're very creative children. More like uh, manipulative. <laughs> That's the Forrester in them. Well, here we are. I guess you're ready to go home. Well, music, candlelight. Actually, I feel like having a dance. And I'll go home. You know, I truly didn't have anything to do with this evening. I know. Not that I'm unhappy with the way it turned out. Rook. 
I know, you don't have to say it. I know you're planning on getting married in a couple of weeks. So am I. Let's just hope that we get married to the right people. <laughs>